Stalking 101. Yeah. Lesson one. Look. Class. Style. If you do not dress with class, your quarry will think of you as some kind of creepy hobo, and that's not what you want. We you want them to be like, stashes, this is okay. But we kind of don't have those. We didn't have time to grow a mustache. We figured I the stalking communica- community needed to be uh, educated bit. as quickly as possible. Yes. We didn't have time for that. Not time but we do have time to show you how this is done. Yes. I'm Matt, this is Derek, and this is Stalking 101. So, what's 101? Identifying the location of your target. We pick too big of a place, we're having issues finding it. Yes. Like we said in tip one, you should always pick a small place. Always. Small place. Yes. Tip number two, location methods. Walking in a general sort of... Hmm. It appears that tip number two should be somewhere along the line of... Know where your target is before you start stalking them. Yes, because right now it's not even really stalking. It's just kind of like walking aimlessly with some kind of background purpose. It's good because we can give you a background on how to start off stalking. Real good. The best kind of information is the preliminary kind. Always be prepared. This is why you don't. This is why you always plan ahead. Here we are again. Tip number four is find a place that's suitable where you can see most of your location. From the electronics section of Walmart, we can see almost the entire store in about 100 yards in every direction. <laughs> this way, if they happen to walk past here, we can find them rather than trying a chance stumble. This is generally an idea to only be attempted after your chance stumbling has failed, because otherwise you just look creepy. Well, <laughs> you're gonna look creepy either way, but yes, either way, you would be by degrees of creepy. This is certainly the least, <laughs> the least, by standing on a spot and pretending to look at things. Uh, it's like we're shopping for TVs, but we're facing the wrong way. Yeah. Our quarry has been spotted. Uh, our targets were spotted. This technique has worked. Tip number five. The stalk. After you have found your quarry, and after you have located them, you must actually begin to stalk them. Otherwise, everything's pretty much pointless and you've wasted your time. The turn. And so we begin the pursuit. Pursuit is the most difficult part of this game, because if done improperly, you look terrifying. No running. Only walking, but not slow walking, because slow walking is typified as a bad thing. So therefore, you should pick a brisk pace. Probably, you know, between two and three miles an hour. If you go too fast, you appear to be trying to overtake them. If you go too slow, you lose them. Yes. So, tip number six. Appropriate walking speed during the pursuit. Slightly. But not entirely. We I just, we have seen them dive shortly ahead in that general area. They think that they were sneaky. This is the first mistake a quarry often makes. Derek, where are you going? Derek is taking the second path. This is tip number eight. If you have a group, divide and conquer, because two people can stalk better than one people. Tip number eight. Once you've begun pursuing your quarry, do not give up. It makes you look rather foolish. <sighs> also, do not fail. Tip number nine is do not fail while stalking. It's, it's kind insane. of depressing. You'll get into trouble. Exactly. Now, at all costs, do not let your target reach the police. Exactly. Police are scary. They ask questions and have mustaches that are bigger than yours. Now, tip number 10 is, have an idea in mind of what to do when you catch the people you're stalking, because it's kind of useless if you catch up to them, and then all of a sudden you don't do anything. You just kind of stare awkwardly. This is where most of our kind fail. Very important tip. Highlight it. Say it again. Do not get to your target without a purpose. Our purpose is not made clear yet for the purposes of entertainment value, but if it were, you would know that we had one. For the time being, while we pursue our quarry, we will skip on to tip number, what are we on now? 10? I think so. 10. I thought we were on... Tip number 10. Tip number 10 is, when you have something, your purpose in mind, you should also have an opening line in mind for when you run into them. Because even if you have a purpose, it doesn't work very well if you don't have a way to introduce it. Recommended options are things like, hey, does this smell like chloroform to you? And where are you going tonight? Or can I watch you until you get back to your car? The chase has been completed. The tips have been set. All that is left at this point is to give you a good example to end on, as is important with any documentary or educational film. This this is very important. In this part, I will be demonstrating what we do. The proper method of ending your hunt. Tip number 13, always be aware of weather conditions. A night like this is absolutely perfect. You can barely see anything three feet in front of your face, which means neither can your quarry. By allowing them to get about three feet ahead of you, they have no hope of knowing where you are. Mr. Gray, I believe you have a job to do. All right.